getting a peek behind the curtain here inside the Broncos suite at Lucas Oil Stadium, chatting with Director of Player Personnel Matt Russell. Matt, what's going on in this room? We've got two suites. We've got this suite, which is kind of our viewing suite for the workouts in the 40s. And so we watch the guys here and uh, watch them work out. And then just about 100 feet down the hallway, there's another suite set up there where we bring the guys in, we interview them and talk to them in there. Why be in here? Why do you need to see this in person? Well, I mean, it's good to get eyeballs on these guys, and it's it, you gain something from seeing these guys move around live and see what they look like physically. I mean, those are kind of, you know, it's nice to be able to come in and, and at a one-stop shop be able to see all of this at the same time, and it's a productive six days because of that. Uh, can you show us a little bit of the yeah, rest yeah. of the street here? No? We can walk okay. around. Yeah, so. come on. Got our scouting staff over here, and... Uh, We've got the TV set up so we can kind of, there's a little bit of a delay on the TV so you can watch the field and then if there's something you like, you can look up and you can see the TV and uh, see the replay. Normally, you're sitting right here, you type in information into your computer or what is going on there? Well, typically we're tracking 40 times and we've got a, a system where we transmit from our timers out here and that'll send that information right back to our computer. So, you know, when we're sitting up here, we can get kind of the real time data as they're going right. and, and that's helpful. And what are you looking for out there? What do you want to see from those guys? Well, we want to see their best, and uh, we want to see the guys that, that move around well and the guys that, that run fast and, and the guys that don't. If you have a corner that you really like a lot, if he runs 4-4 four, four or 4-5, four, it's fine, okay? If he runs 4-8, then there might be a problem. Got it. And so for, for this event, I think you can take the combine and you can, you can rule out guys and you can also bring guys back into the equation that you might have ruled out because they, they were faster or they were more athletic than maybe you saw on tape. We went back way into the archives here and looked up uh, the 1997 combine. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> right. Do you remember what you ran the 40? I know what I think I ran, and I know what I wanted to think I ran, but it's probably not that. A little uh, bit different. Right. Uh, we, we got a 491. Sounds about right. Okay. Yeah. And then ask uh, Vic, he'd probably agree with that. <laughs> 491. <laughs> We got a vertical of 28 inches. No, it was 30. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's what I said. Because the athletes have changed a little bit because Vaughn, he had a 37. Yeah, well, Vaughn's more athletic than I am, so that's fitting. <laughs> We've all seen that Tom Brady photo of him out of the combine wearing these baggy shorts, you know, and the t-shirt. Now it's like, a, it's like an Olympic event out there. It's changed a lot. I mean, it really has. The gear, the way these guys are treated, taken care of, and the, the amount of resources that they have at the tip of their fingertips when they come here is a lot different than it was 20 years ago. So, I mean, it's, you know, there's just a lot at stake. There's more at stake. This, is, this event's much more commercialized. You've got fans up in the, you know, people are interested. And yeah. so they, they, uh, they want to make sure and put their, put their best foot forward and give their best performance. Can you take us down to the interview suite? Let's do it. How private are these rooms? Because you've got friends around the league going in and out just saying hi. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we all visit with each other and say hi to each other. It's kind of a big fraternity, so yeah. Everybody probably thinks it's like on lockdown, but it's really, you know, you guys share notes and right. stuff. No, we don't share notes. No. I would not say that. No. Okay. And this is new going to the suite in the stadium, right? Yeah, it used to be, it used to be at the train station. It's yeah. nice to have it all in one place and, and uh, just be able to keep everything condensed. We don't have to go all over the place and chase guys around. So here's the interview room and uh, show you guys how this works. So we, we video every interview from back there and uh, Kind of the way that it works is we, uh, we've all kind of got our own seat. Uh, Vic sits here, John sits here, I sit here, Brian Stark is there. We've got our scouting department in here, um, and then the player sits in that chair there. They get the comfortable chair. We're on the clock. You can see the clock up there. That kind of tells us how long we've got with each kid, and there's a warning. There's kind of a warning bell as you go. Gives you like a four minute, four minute warning and then a one minute warning, and uh, we're pretty we have to abide by those time constraints. You got 18 minutes this year? We've got 18 minutes, yeah. 45 guys, 18 minutes. And what kind of things are you trying to get out of the player over here? You know, typically, you know, we our scouting department's already done a lot of work on these guys, so we we really probably know more about them than they realize we know. And a lot of questions we may ask, um, we're looking for an answer that we may already we already, we already know. Got an affirmation. Yeah, looking for a little affirmation, exactly. And uh, if there's off the field concerns, we're asking questions about that. And uh, so every interview is kind of tailored to the, the individual kid that's sitting in front of us. You ever have a player go up on the whiteboard, draw up some stuff, that kind of we thing? Do. You know, if, if, uh, if it's system related and we want to know how well they understand their offense or their defense, we may have them jump up and draw up a play and, you know, draw up some route concepts and different stuff or coverages and, 
you know, just make sure that, you know, things are, things are tied up top. Matt, appreciate your time. Thank you, you so much. Yeah, appreciate thank you. It. Okay. Thank you.